All right, we will begin with the initialization of the NVR. So I have a PR and NVR with me, and I'm on the initial screen. Just for your reference, your NVR must be connected to the primary HDMI port. All right, so once you've connected your NVR to the primary HDMI port and uh, powered it up, you will find the initial wizard. In the wizard, we set the language, IP address, and the username, password. So I have started the NVR right now, and it is asking me to do the initial language selection. I'll go ahead and select English as my preferred language for the NVR. Once you have done that, you need to select the username and password for your NVR. You can leave the same username as admin and then change the password. The password, however, should have at least eight uh, alphanumeric values. It can be a combination of uh, number, alphabet, and capital and small letter, and a symbol. So uh, you can choose a password, for example, capital W, capital I, small letters, and then a symbol, and then a couple of numbers. So please repeat the same password. So what you notice is you need to have capital, small letter, and a number, and uh, optionally a symbol as well. Oops. All right, let me re-enter the password once again. The option below what you see is uh, it's not really important. It's, it, it is required if you want to directly add the cameras in your network and you have already prepared your cameras with a username and password, or maybe they are in factory recent mode, you can add the cameras in this stage itself. However, I would recommend you add it at a later stage. So the best way forward is to click no, and then enter a dummy password. So it will try to add, however, because the password is incorrect, it will not add. We need to enter a password for us to move forward to the next menu. All right, my password is done, and I'm going to go ahead to the next step. The third is the network. Sorry for the blurring. Uh, the uh, NVR is capable of giving IP addresses to the cameras through its own DHCP server. I would recommend you to turn it off by clicking on stop. And then set the IP address for your NVR. The default IP is 192.168.1.200. You can change it as per your site requirement. So if you notice the camera port, that is the most important port for the NVR where the video traffic and the client traffic passes through. So it is recommended that you connect your network cable to this specific port. If you do not see the setup button, make sure your network cable is connected and working. We will see the ports for the remaining options later on. In this particular NVR, I have two camera ports, which means I can use them uh, for two options. One is for redundancy. I can have redundancy, uh, two cables coming from NVR to the switch, or I can have a 
different camera network for the same NVR. All right. Uh, next, you see enable network upgrade notification. I will go ahead and disable because my NVR is usually not connected to the internet. So I do not want to enable this function. It will give you a pop-up saying uh, there is a new firmware if you have enabled this option. However, your NVR must be connected to the network. Last step is the time. Go ahead and change the time zone, which is very important. And then adjust and check the date and the exact time according to your current location. And that's it. After this, you can click, click cancel. We will do in a separate video on how to add the cameras.